What's up everyone, it's Rizzy. In this video, I have my 2024 iPad Pro refresh. Now look, you know, like I said just a few seconds ago, it's 2024. So it's out with the old and with the new. But in our case, we're just going to be refreshing our iPad Pro. Look, we got some new apps coming, new wallpapers. You know, so time to show you guys what my life is going to be like, I guess, using my iPad this year. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm going to put my face cam up there. And we're gonna have the iPad as the main screen, so here we go. All right, y'all. So the first things first, right? It's 2024. We're gonna need some new wallpapers, okay? You know what I mean? We're gonna need some new wallpapers. So I already have some selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and swipe over. I'm gonna show you what we got going so far, okay? So hit that customize button, hit that lock screen, and here we go. I'm about to swipe through everything, okay? So we got this one to go to Gate Bridge, super duper dope, you know, amazing, right? They got this one of, I don't really know what this was, but it looked cool. So we're gonna go with it, right? Then, man, I love my wallpapers, not gonna lie. This is like a total, just like update refresh. This just looks so beautiful. So I should have did this a long time ago. Now I'm thinking about it, but yeah, so this is what we're going with. I might edit this a little bit because I want to see that right there. That looks dope. That's a good shot right there. And that's what we're working with, right? Now on our left side here, we have our widgets and just basic stuff like my calendar, weather, how my battery device, stuff like that, different notes that I need, and then the news, and then of course you gotta have the stock market on there because why not, you know what I mean? So that's how it is. And if you wanna know where I got my wallpapers from, well, here is something I that's not sponsored by this video, but here we go, I'm gonna show you guys, right? So where I got these wallpapers from, from the app called Unsplash, okay? You can, just, you can search it up on Google too. So unsplash.com, or unsplash the app, download it on your iPad, you get some amazing photos from them, right? Amazing photos and really simple, really easy to download. All you gotta do, let's just click on, I don't know, I need something nice, let me see. Give me, I guess film, okay? This picture of this bus, okay? Or camper van, I don't know. What you wanna do to download it, all you gotta do is hit this download button here at the bottom right. You gonna see it download and then boom, it's in your photos, okay? Real simple, real easy, real easy. Yeah. Credit to Benjamin Chang, right? This person of this photo that took this photo. Super duper dope, super duper clean. Yeah, unsplash.com, unsplash the app. That's all you gotta do, and you're gonna get you some amazing content. So, right now, the iPad is already feeling so much newer. So, let's go ahead and get on to the next thing, right? Now, next up, we have our iPad app cleanup, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe over because we have some apps that we pretty much we don't use. So we're going to make this really quick, and let's just go ahead and go to utilities. Just a quick little scan. Um, I guess we can keep those for right now. Entertainment apps. Um, I don't use Flip a Coin, but I'm gonna show you what Flip a Coin is real quick. Um, I don't know. It's 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 just something. It's like an animated app, right? So I made this right here, and there's an app. So that's why we're not gonna use it no more. Delete, and that's what I'm talking about. Just delete that. App. I don't like the ads. I'm not paying for nothing with the ads. So, yeah, super duper simple. Um, Wallcraft. This is another wallpaper app, by the way. Wallcraft, but hey, we use Unsplash here, man. We use Unsplash. So that looks clean. Social medias, yeah, it looks clean. Okay. Productivity apps, okay. And it's doing a click little scan here right now because, like I said, you know, this is the iPad app cleanup. Everything is looking nice and clean here. My fine ads apps looks nice. And we go back all through this stuff too. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know you gotta have the gate. No lie, you gotta have the gate. But yeah, no, nah, everything looks clean here. Games, yeah, everything looks nice and smooth. All right, travel apps. Okay, so cool. That's what we got going on. All right, so moving on to my my creative apps that I be using for my iPad. Okay, now. Over here, we can go ahead and it's already in the folder, our creativity folder. And these are the main apps that I use. And yes, I pretty much use all of them. Okay. So starting with the Unsplash, those are for our wallpaper, so we can skip that one. The camera app, of course, because I mean, I don't really take pictures with the iPad, but we can just skip over that one too. Same for the Canon, the camera connect. Actually, you probably don't need this one either. You don't need that one, so go ahead and delete that real quick. That's more for my iPhone. But um yeah, starting with Canva. Canva's a big app because I use it all my thumbnails and everything from there. I used to use Photoshop for that, but I don't use Photoshop anymore. So 
at least not for my thumbnails or anything like that. But yeah, Canva is super duper huge. Now, for this, now this is just editing, okay? Now, you just want to edit straight from your iPad. My two apps that I recommend is iMovie and CapCut. Now, you can use Final Cut Pro. However, you have to pay for Final Cut Pro, okay? Super duper dope app. I love it, but you got to pay for it. You know what I mean? Now, Clips is one of those other, like, editing type apps. Um, get some cool effects off of that. But nothing really like too crazy. Freeform is like you can just draw off of that, do a couple pretty cool different stuff on there. Um, Garage Band, I like to make beats sometimes. Like I said, iMovie, Final Cut, and Camera, those are gonna be your big three editing apps for real. Lightroom, you got that's a that's another huge one. Must have for iPad. Uh, like I said the photos app. But Photoshop, you know what? I'm gonna delete it because I don't use it no more. Like I, I literally do not use it. Photoshop Express, I it was nice having you, but I don't use you no more. Then everything else, like YouTube stuff I use. YouTube Studio, huge. If you're a YouTuber and you don't have this app right here, you're not a YouTuber. I'm not gonna lie, you're just not a YouTuber. At least you're not a good one. So download the YouTube Studio app, please do. VidIQ, super duper helpful. TubeBuddy, super duper helpful. Yeah, those are the apps I use for you know creativity purposes. Well, I do play games, when I just channel, I used to Twitch out too. So, hey, definite bad man, link in the description. But yeah, those are the creativity apps that I use. Now, moving on to our productivity apps, okay? Now, productivity is one of those things where it's like, you just gotta get work done. With having an iPad, this is like a, a pro user, like a getting work done type of device, you know what I mean? This is a productivity device. Like, you don't use this with a computer, you know what I mean? This is where you get stuff done, especially on the go, okay? So, Acrobat, right? That's, it's kind of self-explanatory. PDF files, stuff like that. You want to have Acrobat on your iPad, okay? <laughs> Chat GPT. Listen, I'm in school right now, not gonna lie. I don't use Chat GPT to cheat because we don't do that around here, okay? Let's get a little bit closer. Like I said, I don't use Chat GPT to cheat. I don't do that. It uses, I do use it to help aid me. But, anyways, right? So we got Chat GPT, um, the files app, but productivity stuff I really use Microsoft 365, Office, that's really, really big. Muse. If you don't know, I'm gonna click on it real quick so you can see, right? Muse, they want me to log into it. I don't really use it like that, but um, yeah. Anyway, skipping off of Muse, Outlook, really important, you know, app. That's all my business stuff. My smart home manager, I don't really see how that's productivity, but the iPads and my other song. Time tree, keep everything, just like a little calendar, for real. Zen business, Zoom, you know, pretty much everything you really need. For as a business owner myself, but yeah. All right, so now we move on to like the school apps that I use, right? Now, listen, it's kind of the same to productivity, right? Like for school, I'm gonna use Outlook, ChatGPT, okay? This is the iPad, not my iPhone. On my iPhone, I got a whole different type of video coming up for that, but anyways, right? Now, flight, okay? Now, some flight apps that I use, and this is really, really important as a pilot, kind of a student pilot, right? So flight apps, I use flight test. This is really important for me because when I need to study, right? Because I'm an instrument right now, okay? I'm an instrument, so I go to study questions. I just gonna click on something random. Let me see, resume studying, right? So this is helping me kind of IFR right now. So I really need to lock in with that for real. But um, yeah, anything else I use like per se Socratic here or Pulse, you know what I mean? Like those are all my school apps that I use. Uh, one more app that is right here, it's called For Flight. It's another flying app. Um, see, we got this pretty bad system coming through right now where, where I'm staying at. But hey, it's okay. You know what I mean? It's okay. But yeah, those are my school and type like flight apps that I use, okay? Now, moving on to my entertainment. Now listen, okay? One thing about me and like on the iPad, I don't really watch like much content on here. Now, only thing I like I really use for my entertainment side of things it's probably YouTube. Honestly, I'll probably only watch YouTube on here. Um, maybe Netflix for every now and again, but I'll probably only watch YouTube, but these are all my entertainment apps I have on here. I mean, I'm using music, of course. The iTunes Store, we don't use that. I, well, I don't even think that's a thing anymore, so we're gonna keep that app on there. But yeah, Disney Plus, Game Pass, iTunes Store, that's kind of crazy. Music, Netflix, Paramount Plus. I don't use Paramount Plus no more. I don't have a subscription. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Netflix, Photo Booth, Podcast. Podcast is really good. 
for sure. Sling TV when I'm away. Um, Spotify, Stars, Apple TV. You know the basic apps. You know what I mean? It's the basic apps. But yeah, like I said, Xbox and YouTube, those bottom two apps, those where I'd be on the most. Not going to lie to you, right? So then let's go ahead and skip down to my finance apps because <sighs> this is a lot of talking, but finance is really important, okay? So this is like different credit cards, like my Discover. You, know, like you have a Discover credit card, so it's pretty important to have a Discover app to keep track of my purchases and everything and how that goes, you know what I mean? Um, Experian, you want to stay good with your credit score. If you want to know about credit, Experian is going to help you out like tremendously. Like credit cards, everything you need to know, what you need to know, use Experian. Don't use Credit Karma. Not going to lie, cause Credit Karma, they don't report it as reliably as Experian get your FICO score, right? And the banks and everybody getting cars, stuff like that, it goes off your FICO score just for you guys to know, right? It goes off your FICO score. Um, Mint, really important. Um, I don't have Novo anymore, so I need to delete this off of there. But PayPal, Robinhood for my stocks. TurboTax when I file my taxes. Hey, it's tax season right now. I just filed them yesterday. Then Wells Fargo, right? Might end up changing bank soon. Um, Wells Fargo, they're not really messing with me like that. But um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it when it comes to that. All right, y'all. So and last but not least, our favorite part is the games. Now, look, I don't play games. Wow. Okay. I don't really play games. It's only, let me see, maybe two games I play out of here semi-consistently. Only one game I play out of here one like every day, and that's Clash of Clans. I, I play Clash of Clans all the time. I play, I'm a heavy Clash of Clans player, for real, for real. Like, you want to check out my base and stuff like that. I got two accounts, you know what I mean? Like, I play Clash of Clans. I play Clash of Clans like, hey, if you want to come to the clan, look, the clan name right here is called Elite, okay? We are Elite. So, you want to join my clan, we only have, what, nine members right now. So, hey, join up with the clan because we were actively looking for members. But, yeah, besides that, I mean, that's pretty much it, y'all. That's all I use my iPad for. Keep it real clean. Keep it real simple. You know, it's a productivity device. So, like, I get work done with this. It's minimum distractions. Like, there's not a whole bunch of stuff popping up on my screen. Like, you see my widgets, like my home screen. It's really my home screen, whatever this screen is right here, which, honestly, this could be moved over, like, freeform. Could just be removed from home screen. I don't need that. Then this right here. I just put this over here. And I have a really simple iPad. Like, this is really minimalistic, for sure, for sure. But we just refreshed it, man. Like, we got new wallpapers, super duper dope, and cleaned up the iPad. And I'm really ready to, like, tackle this year, for real, for real. So, yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. But if you have any, like, apps or anything that you recommend for me to download and stuff like that, hey, comment those down below. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I could probably use some more apps. Probably could. But yeah, that's all I got for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But like I said, if you have anything, comment it down below. I'll be looking out for your comments. Trust me, I respond to everybody. Unless it's like a crazy comment. And I still kind of respond to it. It can be kind of funny to me. So thank you guys for stopping by this video. But hey, Ronzi's out. Peace.